Box office sensation Marcus Jackson is expected in court today where he is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. Will Marcus end up serving actual jail time for his little tantrum? We'll find out later today and bring it to you live as soon as the judge makes his ruling. This is Sean Robinson reporting. Little tantrum? That photographer knocked over my grandmother trying to take a picture of me. Why am I on trial? Because you're Marcus Jackson, biggest movie star in the world, and they're trying to make an example out of you. There it is. And I'm Bobby Gold, the world's greatest talent agent. And I'm not letting my client who made $250 million last year go to jail. This is so stressful, he's my best client. <laughs> best client? It's your only client. <laughs> Tony, you are so ungrateful. I got you a job for $150,000 on his last movie as his dog walker. He doesn't even have a dog. <laughs> Nobody's going to jail. It wasn't even my fault, right, Bobby? Eh. <laughs> I mean, the, the paparazzi, they just go too far sometimes. <laughs> oh, we gotta go. Court starts in an hour. I gotta get you out of this and put you back to work. Yeah, because we hate being out of work. You haven't worked a day in your life. I have you know, I work hard watching Marcus work. <laughs> Marcus, you have five movie offers on the table. You can't do any of them if you're in jail. Relax, relax, nobody's going to jail. Like I told you, Marcus, I got you some good representation. I find you guilty as charged. <laughs> oh my God, my life is over. Your life, what about me? I gotta get a real job. But since you don't have a prior record, I'm not going to sentence you to any jail time. Ah! Oh, let's go, everybody, back to the set. Let's make money. But you will do some community service. Oh. Now, I see here that you have a teaching degree in English. What were you going to do with that? Your Honor, both my parents are teachers, and before I became an actor, I wanted to be a teacher. Well, Mr. Jackson, I'm going to put that degree to some good use and order you to teach a class in English for six months at South Central High School. Oh. Your Honor, I'm an actor. South Central High School? That's not community service. That's a death sentence. Maybe. But either way, I won't see you back in my courtroom. <laughs> Case closed. Box office sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Six months in this dump? Are you kidding me? Well, hopefully it'll go by fast. There's nothing we can do with it. This place isn't so bad, though. Really? I'm sure that's exactly what he said. Oh! <laughs> that's not good. Don't worry about that. It's just a student body. <laughs> student body. <laughs> all right, okay, all right, whatever, whatever. This is ridiculous. Now I'm hanging out with the Three Stooges, Larry Moe and Jerry Curley. <laughs> yes, I offended you. Get over it. Marcus Jackson, yes. the actor? Yes. Oh man, I have all your bootleg DVDs. <laughs> I'm Tony Lopez, nice to meet you, man. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Where's the principal's office? Oh, Mr. Martin? Yeah. Oh, um, that door right there, it says principal's office. <laughs> Word of advice. What's up? To survive around here, mm -hmm. you stay low and run fast. Meet up. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Freddie. I think. <laughs> Principal Martin, Marcus Jackson. Nice to meet you. Oh, great. Marcus Jackson has finally arrived to make a mockery of my excellent educational institution. <laughs> the only word you got right in that sentence was institution. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> What's up with the chalk outline out there? Oh, we like to call that our student body. <laughs> student body? Now, that's a man with a sense of humor. <laughs> I see the picture of Jesus Christ, Martin Luther King Jr., but, uh, why are you the third? You know, you're right. I should be second. <laughs> so tell me, who are you three? This is Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. That's right. And what do you do for a living? Play video games. Really? That must be great. <laughs> and you, what's your fascinating backstory? This is Jamal. 
Yeah. Marcus and I have known each other our whole lives, grew up next door to each other, mm -hmm. and now I'm his personal chef. All right, chef, what kind of sauce do you put on creme brulee? Uh, hot sauce? Bing! Correct! <laughs> nice hire. <laughs> and tell me, what's your magical story? Another one of my best friends and agent, Bobby Gold. Now let me tell you what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a one, two bedroom trailer with a hot tub and a 70 inch flat screen TV. Ha! With lots of video games. Yeah. And hot sauce. And lots of video games with hot sauce. <laughs> okay, well let me tell you what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a classroom of 30 students, half of them armed, the other half dangerous. They're last in math, last in reading, but they're number one in crime. <laughs> now, Mr. Gold, if you don't like my offer, your client can go directly to jail. <laughs> Gentlemen, do we understand each other? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, you three misfits, go to the teacher's lounge. Marcus, you follow me. We handled that well now, didn't we? <laughs> jail, I don't care what he says, hot sauce on creme brulee is delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna do you a little favor. I'm gonna go in there and get their attention. You stay here. Okay. Excuse me, class. May I have your attention? I have a very important announcement to make. Shut up! Did everyone get theirs in? Okay, they're ready for you. Thanks for your help. <laughs> no problem. You owe me. What's up, everybody? Oh! Oh my God! Look at Chester! Wow! The ladies love you, just like they love me. Nice to meet you. Well, everybody, I'm your new teacher. Wow! So, movie star, what brings you to these parts? You researching your ex, film? Now, to be honest, I got in a little trouble with the law. You know, it was all over the news, and the judge told me you need to come down here and teach a class. You know, pay back my debt to society, as they say. <laughs> wow, we are in the ghetto. Now we're just for movie stars. <laughs> right. It's not a jail for movie stars. It's more like a penalty box. I can't believe it. Your sentence here to be with us? That's messed up. <laughs> yes, it is. But believe it or not, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I always wanted to be a teacher. My parents are teachers. It's sort of like in my DNA. And DNA was time for don't know anything, because this place is an armpit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to be, some celebrity deodorant? Going to make us smell better for like five minutes? <laughs> yeah, until you forget about us and head back to your mansion in Bel Air. So how long are you stuck with us? Six long months. <laughs> You're never gonna make it six months. Why not? Because in two weeks, you're gonna be in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> right. Deuces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Bobby! Right there. Oh, oh, Marcus, oh. thank God you're alive. Oh, those kids are scary. I thought you were dead. I literally saw my commission flash before my eyes. <laughs> Bobby, chill out, man. It's gonna be all right. These kids are cool. They can't help it if they live in a poor neighborhood. Of course they can. If they don't like it, they can move to Beverly Hill. <laughs> well, I'll be. The rumor is true. Lunch is served. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. My name is Cassandra, and I'm gonna be your new best friend. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Cassandra. So formal. How about a kiss instead? <laughs> Promise I'll keep my mouth closed. You don't waste any time, do you? Why waste time when you see something that you like? <laughs> <laughs> because the problem is you like everything you see. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, have you seen me? <laughs> Yes, I have. And that proves you're wrong. 
allow me to pick up your face. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa. I teach history here. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Marcus Jackson. Of course. Everyone knows who you are. Who hasn't seen your movies? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen your movies. <laughs> I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. I'm the PE teacher. Welcome to South Central High. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Um, why are you hanging out with Andre the Giant? Oh, you mean Andrew? He's nice. You know, we're just friends. Just friends? Just friends. Great. <laughs> so what brings you to these parts? Well, I mean, I just feel like I can help these kids. I'm from the hood, so it's very much my way of giving back. That's really nice, Vanessa. Vanessa, your compassion is just one of the many things I love about you. Okay, player, I see she falling for it. <laughs> Vanessa, your compassion is one of the things I love about you. <laughs> well, I knew you were in show business, but I didn't know you traveled with your own circus. Circus? You calling me a clown? You calling my man a clown? <laughs> yes, I am. You on your own, bozo. <laughs> Andrew, why don't we, we go sit over there? Um, Marcus, it was really nice meeting you. Come on. Yeah, chill out, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's true. Our fearless leader has landed. Zorlon from Galaxy 10. I've been waiting 300 years for you to come take us home. 300 years? Yes. Dude, you don't look a day over 285. <laughs> look, man, that's not real. That's from a movie. If it's not real, then how am I standing here? <laughs> they haven't adjusted your meds? <laughs> and who might you be, sir? On our planet, I'm known as Cardor. On this planet, they call me Mr. Anderson. Oh, well, in South Central, we call you crazy. <laughs> My cover on this planet is to be a science teacher at South Central High School. And I've been patiently awaiting for your arrival. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I think I want to go to jail. Oh, no, 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 you're not going to jail. I want to say thank you from my heart. You saved the planet. You saved the people. You fixed everything. Man, what are you talking about? He didn't do nothing. He couldn't even fix my credit. Shut up. OK. My leader, just give me the signal and I will gather everyone else for the long trip home. Mr. Anderson. What? I'm just an actor. That was just my movie. You get it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I got it. Understood. There you go. I will be waiting for your signal. D! <laughs> I just can't understand why people say the public school system is broken. Today, mega movie star Marcus Jackson completed his first day of court-ordered community service here at South Central High School. We are happy to report the award-winning actor is still alive. Sean Robinson reporting. Alive, whatever. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The odds makers of Vegas say he's gonna live through this. I think they're wrong. I'm gonna make a lot of money. You bet that Marcus is gonna die? Yes, I did. That is shameful. Cut me in on that bet. <laughs> okay, guys, plan my memorial service some other time. Marcus, that place is scary. Can you blame us? You're right, we're in serious trouble. I, you're in serious trouble. We're not going back. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I like what Vanessa's doing, she's right. Those kids need a lot of help, and I want to just jump in and fix everything, but I can only do so much. And guess what? Some of those kids can't even read. Reading is so overrated. Why do you think God invented audiobooks? <laughs> right. You might not have to do anything. Why? I just got the email. The world's greatest agent just got you a real lawyer, and your sentence has been suspended. Oh, Bobby, you did it again! <laughs> hey, 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 now we don't have to go back. I'm emailing everybody. We're about to have a party. Hey, 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 wait a minute, guys. That's great, but I still got to figure out a way to help the kids. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't you invite them all up here? Let them see what's possible if you work hard enough. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. 
Don't bring them in here. Then they're gonna see everything they can steal. No, that's a great idea, Jamal. Think about it. Those kids came from the same neighborhood we did. If we can be successful, so can they. Great. Why don't you just hang a sign on all the TVs that says, feel free to take me now. You watch. On Monday, they'll be excited to go to school. You watch. On Monday, they'll be excited to go to a pawn shop. <laughs> Call 911. Call 911 for what? Nothing happened. Nothing's happened yet. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Come in. Oh, this place is amazing. You know what time it is. Come on, brother. You know what time it is. This place is unreal. Whoa, is this real? Uh, it's real, all right. It's really gonna stay out of your hands, out of your bag, and out of your trunk. Matter of fact, what else you got? Get over there with everybody else. All right, hey, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat, everybody. Gather around for a minute. Yes. Gather around, kids. It's easy for me to keep an eye on you. First of all, I grew up in a neighborhood just like the one you live in right now. And I decided to work really hard, follow my dream, and get out. I agree. Get out. <laughs> this place is truly unbelievable. Thank you, Danielle. But you can have this, too. Just don't let anybody tell you you can't. Hey, Danielle. Yeah? You can't. <laughs> Marcus, I heard your community service got suspended. Oh yeah, it was all over the internet today. And we don't blame you one bit for leaving. We do the exact same thing. <laughs> Ooh, I like this girl. She's a smart one. Listen to her. <laughs> to be honest, when I invited you guys to my place, it was to tell you that my time is up and I'm out. Yes! His time is up and he is out! <laughs> but guys, you inspired me to do more than just be an actor. So community service or no community service, I want to be your teacher. I'm going to be your teacher. Word? Yes. Oh, yes. Are you going to quit doing movies? No, I can do both. I just want to make a difference, and I can do that right here with them. Well, how can you do both? Because I can teach during the school year and do my movies in the summer. Yes, he is stained. There is a Jesus. Woo. Yes, there is. Thank you, Jesus. I got it. Your Majesty. I just received your signal that you're ready to take us back to our home planet. We should leave now, Your Majesty. No, not right now. We're going to stay up a little bit longer because we got more work to do. We have these young earthlings to help. See? Oh. Yes, of course. And you know, now is not a good time to leave because it's rush hour and there's lots of intergalactic traffic. So let me get this straight. You're going to give all this up to be welcome, Black Cotter? It's not exactly what I would have said, but uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome, African American Cotter. <laughs> I've decided if you guys give this 110%, I'm going to be there for you. What does that matter? Man, none of us can afford to go to college anyway. Word. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. You get good grades and get into a university, I'm going to pay for your college tuition. No. What do you think about that, Mr. Anderson? I think it's great. Your generosity never ceases to amaze me. And as always, our planet is forever proud of you. Marcus is not an alien, and as crazy as you are, you're not an alien either. Okay, if you're an alien, read my mind. Tell me what I'm thinking right now. Tell me what you're thinking, Mr. Alien Man. Go ahead, read my mind. <laughs> you're thinking I can't wait to get to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles at 8 o'clock to pour gravy on my mashed potatoes. <laughs> Man, that is so racist. But he is absolutely right. <laughs> Tony, get the car. <laughs>